Ralph Rangnick is expected to be well backed in January. Unsurprisingly, the signings of Cristiano Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho and Rafael Varane over the summer failed to solve all of Manchester United's issues. Club hero Ole Gunnar Solskjaer paid the price for several worries amongst the squad being put on the back burner, namely his midfield. Scott McTominay and Fred were the usual midfield duo deployed by the Norwegian, and that has continued to be the case under new interim boss Ralf Rangnick. Nemanja Matic, 33, Paul Pogba, out of contract at the end of the season, and Donny van der Beek were all other positions to play in the two-man midfield but Solskjaer was keen to improve upon those options in the summer. According to the Manchester Evening News, the Red Devils wanted to sign a midfielder ahead of this season but struggled to find an attainable option, which infuriated Solskjaer behind closed doors. However, the club appears to have learned their lesson though as the report goes on to state that they are willing to financially back Rangnick, who is keen to add a high-quality holding midfielder to his ranks next month. But who could the German boss sign? Express Sport has taken a look at three potential targets, Amadou Haidara, Rangnick is reportedly interested in reuniting with RB Leipzig midfielder Amadou Haidara, who he signed during his spell on the touchline at the club. The 23-year-old was highly rated by the new United boss due to how well he can break up play and protect a backline, and it comes as no surprise that he seems to fit the bill at Old Trafford too. Haidara has previously spoken publicly about his desire to one day play for the Red Devils, though there was interest from Newcastle over the summer and the prospect of being part of a well-funded project could be persuasive, the Malian wouldn't cost an overly substantial amount due to his £33 million release clause, and is already well drilled in what Rangnick requires from his number sixes, Calvin Phillips, Leeds United midfielder Calvin Phillips proved that England manager Gareth Southgate was right to make him a central part of his plans for Euro 2020.